everybody, Texas Trucker Airlines, the performance shop, WalmartStarMobiles.com. Just recorded a train wreck of a video, literally, because of so many things that just never come in and companies either cancel your order without telling you, constantly pester you if you want to cancel your own order and you tell them no and then they do it anyway, <laughs> or some semblance of a combination of those types of things. And this one is going to be really quick, but I wanted to get it going. It's a situation where I don't near have everything from either of these orders and I just want to get this stuff to work and I kind of wanted it documented along the way so what we've got going this is August 21st uh, so this date in history when my thumb was nearly uh, taken off my body by a bandsaw at work and I'm slammed once again around this time of year uh, that aside though uh, still you know it looks fine for the most part like there's just still not feeling you know and everyone like when the weather changes like man this thing it hurts really bad <laughs> it's it's like a you know the old man you can tell when the storms are going to come type of thing which is cool that's like one perk i suppose of the whole ordeal but back to the story here uh this was an epic deal i mean i'm talking ridiculous i brought up the time frame because as far as this weekend the vera advent calendars have come in that's sort of like the promotion that's in place now prior to that running for i believe over a week was a sale that was 15 percent off knipex which that's a pretty big deal right you know especially if you had anything you wanted it was good to everything too there was no exclusions it's not like you wanted to go snag yourself the pliers wrench excess finally on a deal but it was excluded no 15 percent off everything if knipex makes it it was 15 percent extra off i say extra off for a reason uh being the thrifty little dude that i am uh what are my first thoughts when i see 15 percent off what's on sale why let's say that a 12 inch pair of cobras or a pliers wrench was on for 32 percent off now you can add 15% and you get 47% off and you get a wicked goodbye, right? Um, that's kind of what we did here. This is a thing. I did not plan to buy this at all. I had no intentions of going in there. Uh, I was honestly looking for big pliers wrenches to like be on some huge like discount. And that's not what I got. What I got is something I didn't even know KC Tool had set up. Uh, it's going to be part number. Again... If you're new here timestamps and links all there for your convenience as of recording this i still make nothing off of that i do it solely for your convenience but uh kc tool they've got this as kct dash c o b r a s e t i space that out weirdly so you'd have to spend a little time in your mind and put together cobra set <laughs> uh, now your your ears have perked and you're thinking like cobra set what's that hmm that's not like a knipex part number for like two or three or some odd you know litany a roll out of seven you know different sized cobras this is like a kc tool thing and currently as of today this is 32 percent off uh that would put the price at 112.54 and then imagine if you will 15 percent on top of that so 47 percent off of the msrp that they've got that's a really good deal. The catch is, this past weekend, uh, week, Friday night, whenever it was that I ordered this, these were 50% off or more. I don't remember the exact amount, but they were like 50-something percent off before the 15%. Okay, so I added 15%. We got these things for like 65-ish percent off, 65, 60, 70, 65, somewhere in there percent off, like an insane deal, basically like a third or less of the price that these should have been. And if you're like, okay, that's that's amazing. I wish I would have been in on it. What's, what's in the KCT Cobra set? Well, it's this. <laughs> and uh, it was... Uh, I'm telling you, this is like one of those things. If you got in on it, leave a comment and let the world know how lucky you are. If you didn't get in on it, this is a thing where even if you already were set in Cobras, this is like, huh, yeah, I should probably buy that for a backup. Or, you know, hey, I never thought I'd get this good of a price on Cobras. Uh, you know, I could throw that in the service truck or... You know, even though Larry in the back is really rough on tools, at this price I can't go wrong. It's like cheaper than the cheap stuff, <laughs> you know? 
and uh, it was a such a stupid goodbye. Uh, we will start small, and I'm not going to lie, this is actually, if I was going to get Cobras, this is the size I would have wanted, and it's 5 inch. As much as I love the little uh, excesses, this and 6 inch, I kind of wanted a 6 too because I don't have it. Uh, but if you see here, 8701125, a little 5 inch pair of Cobras, and you're thinking like, Okay, well, you know, that's that's not a great deal, you know, but it's it's decent. What's what's the next one? Well, if I come in here and open this bag, you're going to see that we're going to have part number 8701. That's going to be Cobra with this dipped textured handle. It's not like the channel lock dipping, right? This is like the textured iteration. 250. What does that mean? It means 10 inch. And you're thinking like, okay, 5 and 10 inch. That's that's pretty sweet. Here's the kicker, okay, right here we have uh, the same handle style, so you, you learn the Kinefex system with me here. If we had 8701-125 and 8701-250, this handle is going to tell you what. You don't have to see a part number, you can see this, you know, made in Germany. Self-locking, right? Tells you it's 8701. If I hold this up, you're going to see... 300. What does that tell you? 12 inches. 5, 10, and 12. This isn't like some El Cheapo set where it's like, ooh, 5, 6, and 7, you know, enjoy your discount. That is a significant size. You can do some serious, <laughs> serious grabbing with those, you know, either to generate more torque on something small or or your 10s that most people tend to stop at. Just didn't have these the literal expanse to handle, you know, whatever it might be, you now have 12s. The price I paid for this set was essentially less than you would pay, not for the 12s, but for the 10s. Like, you know, not like a good sale on the 10s, but like kind of MSRP 10. We got all three of these. And the 5s aren't cheap. <laughs> okay, they know they're popular for a reason. To get the 5, the 10, and the 12 for... 65 plus percent off uh, that was crazy i nearly i wish i would have now i started to buy three of these i was going to have one at the house mainly so i'd have this which i don't have a 12 inch and then i've been wanting to get another five or like i said the six and the ten you can't go wrong with and then i was just going to throw two out in the shop you know at uh tear down and assembly area and i kind of wish i would have done that but I want to say the price was like around 60 something bucks, 69, like upper 60s, you know, that wasn't like $60, but uh, it was insane. And like I said, I had no intentions of buying a set of Cobras, much less another 10 inch, but it's a deal where it was too good of a deal to pass up. And like I said, my regret is not buying more of them. Uh, so if you got in on that, if you somehow looked, by all means, let me know. And again, that's the deal. A lot of you, you know, what's 90% of people's first Cobra, your Knipex tool, it's probably the Cobra. If it's not, it's probably a pliers wrench, you know, depending maybe if you're like an electrician or something like that. Maybe it's like side cutters, you know, who knows. Uh, the twin grip now might captivate some people, but for everyone else, like even if you walk into Home Depot type of a thing, like it's probably the Cobra that you're going to buy. Um, <laughs> check the prices. Look look at the jungle site. Do whatever you want to do. Getting these three pliers, again, not not the tiny stuff, not the El Cheapos in the middle range, you know, like 5, 6, and 7, but like a 12-inch for this price, insane. Absolutely insane. So... Uh, as mentioned, check the site, check it frequently, check it often. Uh, the 15% stacked, if you're unaware, it's stacked on top of the sale price. And in this case, like if these would have been 26% off or 30% off, I don't know if I would have pulled the trigger. I probably would have just gone and got the 12, maybe the 5 type of a thing. But this was cheaper than doing either one of those, so uh, I could not pass it up. I also will confess, uh, I do, certain brands do really well with this, like, textured. I cannot stand, like, the PVC vinyl dipped. I, it just drives me nuts. Ever since I dunked that one pair in antifreeze, I've just had more and more of an aversion to it. That's across all brands. 
Uh, channel lock I'll still tolerate, uh, in part because it's like, you know, channel lock blue, but I cannot stand it so, so many times. This is cheaper than that, I guess, because you can clean that style easier. I could care less about that. Uh, Anesthesia, you know, I could get it on me anyway, but I typically, with Kinepex, do. I'm a two-component person. That's what I prefer. It's a little wider of a handle. I think it makes it more comfortable. Uh, but there's nothing wrong with this grip. I actually do, don't mind it. I just prefer the two-component, but this was just a steal, <laughs> and that's why they're here. Now, going along with the steel, which I know these are going to work. I This would probably best serve me at work, but I kind of want it here at the house because I don't have a 12-inch. It's to be determined, but I need this stuff opened up and going to work because of two other items. And not coupling with Knipex 15% because it's not Knipex, I, this is another just, it's a steal. Now, the catch with this one, it's still available. And this is a from Hazette. This is their part number 863 HPS. What does that mean? It's the Hyperfine. So you got 90 tooth. The S, what's special about the S? You thought it was just HP for Hyperfine. Right there where my thumb's going up and down. That shiny little knob, that is a quick release. Now, initially, Hazette did not have a quick release. Then, of course, on like the anniversary of the introduction, a couple years later, they came in with the quick release. And I got to say, my go-to half-inch ratchet for the longest time has been the 916 HP. I have the 916 HPS. I still use the 916 HP. I'm weird like that. I'm a loyalist. This guy right here, not, not a cheap ratchet, you know, not crazy expensive especially if you're used to like tool truck stuff or higher end things this is 50 percent off okay like granted we don't have the 15 percent hazette sale going on to make this 65 percent it's 50 percent off right now as i record this this is 50 percent off i think there's like nine of them in stock i don't know if it's going to clear out and then they're going to jack the price back up or just cut the 50 percent back or something 50 percent makes this 7234 and I know that, you know, that's like a lot for a quarter drive if you're used to like buying, you know, like Harbor Freight, Husky, you know, what have you. But these ratchets are amazing. In my opinion, they're worth it. Uh, they're right up there, you know, with Koken, in my opinion. Uh, I feel these are a little bit more robust. Not to say the Kokens aren't. It's just the Kokens are so, so finite, right? The back drag on them is insane. I don't think there's anything that can touch that that I've used personally. But these, I just, I feel, the 916 HP, if you were unaware, that was like the strongest ratchet in the world. That was a selling point. Yes, the quick release weakens that just a tad. Uh, but it's also a convenience thing. Some people like it, some people hate it, some people it's like with snap-on. It's more of like an aesthetic thing. Like the quick release just doesn't look good <laughs> on snap-on. Uh, whereas with like Napros... The quick release looks great. Like, it blends in seamlessly, aesthetically. On a snap-on ratchet, they look really, really good with that solid back plate. They don't look as good with a quick release button. Personal opinion, I think the vast majority would agree with me on that. But 50% off for 7234 stolen. Uh, similar fashion, we have, as mentioned... The 916 HPS. What's the catch here? Why did I bring it? Was it 50% too? Surely not. It's a half inch drive ratchet. The thing's ginormous. He just told us how the 916 HP is the strongest ratchet in the world. This one's got the push button. Couldn't possibly be on for 50% off. It is 50% off. <laughs> right now, as of me recording this, it's still 50% off. I just typed it in on my phone to make sure. What is this 50% off? The list price at KC Tool? 101.16. Go. Go now. Price out whatever you want to. Especially if you go to a tool truck. You are not going to, unless you're looking at like their offshore stuff. Many of them, their offshore stuff will cost more than this. 101.16 is an absolute treasure trove of a deal. These three items, I know it's not a big tool haul. It's stuff we've seen minus the 12 inch. The price that we got these for is why this video is happening. Plus, I really desperately need these at work tomorrow, the Hazettes. <laughs> but, uh, this was like, I might even title this the steal, the stolen tools. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know if I've gotten deals this good 
from KC Tool on high, high, high desirable things that I have a history and a track record with. Like, I've had these for quite some time, and I know what to expect from them, Ratchets and the Cobras. It's mind-bogglingly low prices. Yes, if you add everything up, 101 and 72, we'll call that 173, and then like 65 there, 238. If I go to Matco, <laughs> we're spending that on the half-inch drive ratchet, right? I mean, it's quarter drives from those places. You're looking at, you know, like 140s, 150s, 160s, depending on what you do. This was just stupid, stupid good of a deal. And what I'm going to do with them, again, these are going to work. The HP standard non-quick release, they were available. They were there as well. I held off. I thought, you know, for what I'm doing there, the quick release would be nice. And I'm not even going to unbox those because they're going to work. But I know you're going to say, hey, I want to see it. I want to know what's going on. Well, this is my current 863 HPS. How's it? Quarter drive. Was it sporting? The titanium nitride coating, which I got to tell you. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. When I put my glove here, you're like, oh, that's not even been used. It has. It has been used. And it just, it's a weird deal. Typically, with my, especially with what I've used this on, it was black screws. It'll pick off the black coating. Something about this doesn't do that. I don't know if it's impervious to it or what, but uh, it's been a fantastic little bit. And I'm glad that this is here because I'm in desperate need of a 3mm <laughs> bit. I kind of think the Hazet titanium nitride coated one might be the shortest option. I've actually sent Colin an email uh, around like 6 before I uh, left work early today. And uh, I think I was out of there by 6.30 or something like that. But I did shoot him an email and I was like, hey, you know, just out of curiosity, do you have the OALs on the Ghidorah and the Stavilla? Stavilla is not in stock, Ghidorah is. I kind of feel like this might be my shortest option. But that's another story. But those are the types of things you can do with this. Essentially, I have a 3mm hex key. And it's in an incredibly tight place working on a hydraulic cylinder. And I'm basically flexing it. I'm kind of surprised. I really pushed it and I thought I was going to break it. <laughs> I didn't. And then I thought, you know what? I'm going to break it. But ultimately, like, I'm running into the mast towers and the supports, right? I, I cannot do it. I need like a stubby hex key. I don't have one that small. And so you come down and you think, we'll get an angle here. I can't. Um, this is my like last ditch would be the three millimeter hex. And I think I'm going to go with the titanium nitride if that's cheapest because that's what they have. So that's what that would look like. But fantastic little ratchets. This one's pretty clean. Uh, I try to keep it, what I decided to do was use the quick release for interior work and the non-quick release for non-interior work. <laughs> so, uh, that's my stupid little strategy that works for me. Knock it if you will. And then there's this behemoth right here, one of my favorite ratchets of all time, the Hazet 916 HP. This one with the S for the quick release. Only real knock is like this sucker here. And you can look at the anvil, it's been used. Uh, it's just pretty dadgum stiff, which good thing, bad thing, you know, you kind of, some people are going to like that. Some people are going to hate it, but these are just phenomenal ratchets, super strong. That's going to this 916 HPS in my hand will be used far, 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 far more <laughs> than that quarter drive. So, uh, main thing, I just need to get this stuff showcased, get it to work. Again, I'm kind of torn if this should stay here or go to work. Maybe I, like, wait for a sale again and try to get, like, the two component on the 12-inch for me. But, uh, steals and steals and steals and deals. That's kind of the, the theme here. Of course, uh, with any of these, well this item or the other ratchet we exceeded the hundred dollar mark so we get the german tool sticker pack also we get the bit of thanks which is somewhere i'll just grab this one since we have a copious amount of them number two phillips currently shipping from vit at this point in time and yeah well, what i want to know from you now before we close rest assured i promise you know me there are many many more things that we cashed in on including something that has eluded me for years uh, it's haunted me and i finally pulled the trigger on it i also got something else from Kinepex that i really really wanted uh it will probably be the slowest arrival sadly but uh, just know it will be showcased at some point in time but uh yeah we totally cashed in on some other stuff it's just 
these were phenomenal steals and I'm going to take them to work. So they're not going to be here when the rest of the stuff shows up. So boom, short video for me by my standards. A uh, good walk down memory lane, I believe. Uh, if anyone knows of tiny, that's the issue here. Like I need quarter drive in part because I don't think anything exists three eighths that would be small enough, but I just don't get enough leverage and I don't have the space to turn it. <laughs> with an L key, a traditional one. Uh, and I'm pretty sure, like, it was Vera I was using the Hex Plus. I th I could go dig... Well, no, I can't. I don't have three millimeters at work. <laughs> it's all old. It's SAE. But, um, yeah. If anyone knows of anything, I'm sure I will have gotten this sorted out by now. I might have to go... It might be my first foray into the RBRT stuff out of like necessity or desperation but uh, yeah if anyone knows of any like really stubby good hex bits where the bits are actually quality steel that aren't going to just round their corners off or destroy the fastener let me know because it might help somebody else but uh, yeah stupid good deals all of this I think I just made the decision it's all gonna go with me I'm in in that mood <laughs> and, uh, we'll call it good there, but uh, dang, just amazing prices. Again, what I want to know from you is, A, if you cashed in on Hazette, maybe somebody was like, oh, Knipex sale, I wonder what else I might need. If you stumbled upon this, kudos to you, sir or ma'am, because you have scored a great deal. But on the Knipex sale, whether you saw this, uh, who knows, maybe you have like tons of these and you don't need any of those sizes, so you passed, but if you saw it, did you pick it up? And more importantly for everyone else, 15% off Knipex on top of everything else. What did you get? Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below. Share your scores in the uh, comment section for everyone's viewing pleasure. But uh, like I said, rest assured, we cashed in on more. It's just, it's not. Some of it's here in this box beside me, but most of it's not. So, <laughs> well, we'll showcase it in due time. But uh, with that said, it is getting pretty late. It's pretty toasty in here. It's about 10.30. I gotta be to work early, about uh, 6.30 a.m., so I should probably go in, work out, shower, try to sleep a little. But, uh, yeah, I will leave it at that, man. I am thrilled uh, getting these two to work. Which I gotta tell you this, I think I forgot. 88.16 is a 3.8. It should be here between these two. Why is it not? It's already at work. That's right. If you recall, a long time ago, we cashed in on a really good buy on it. I think I got, like, two... Uh, extras and I gave one to my nephew and then I have one at work uh, so these will be joining there we will have the full HPS lineup quarter three eighths and a half at least in their standard configuration so that's awesome but uh, yeah I'll quit rambling thank you so much for watching do hope you enjoyed again by all means please share what you picked up on that sale I would love to see it I'm sure other people would too LoneStarMopars.com is the website. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all three at Lone Star Mopars. If you have not subscribed, I encourage you to do so. If you subscribe, ring the bell, jump your charger across the creek, and you picked up the KC2 Cobra, KCT Cobra set for 65% off, YouTube just might notify you that we got new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, 9 a.m. Texas time. With that said, thanks so much for tuning in. Most importantly, have a fantastic weekend, and I hope I catch you back here for more action from the shop.